Good morning, or maybe I should say good afternoon. It's a few minutes after 12, I think, and we are going to go get some lunch at a little burger place that's down the street. Tom just all of a sudden decided, let's go get a burger. So we're going to go get a burger. Let's go get a burger. We're going to go try that place. I don't even know what it's called. It's something burgers. Yep, we'll find out. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> We were all excited. Whoops, let me switch this around so I can see. We were getting all excited because we were going to have company for dinner, but one of our guests isn't feeling so well. So they might not come tonight. Maybe tomorrow night. We'll see. I'm bummed. I wish she felt better, but um, that's more important that she feels better. We'll catch up with them pretty soon, but... We'll still try and keep it a surprise. If they don't get to come tonight or tomorrow night, then we'll tell you who was supposed to come and visit us. But, what are you doing? <laughs> Had a rock in my shoe. Well, that's not fun. <laughs> okay, Kaylee, is it okay if we go get lunch? Do you care? Hide your face. I don't think she cares. The sun must be coming in on her eyes. Look, she's covering her eyes. Nope. I don't think she cares one bit that we're going to go to lunch. Daisy's going to care. Daisy's going to care because she's going to want to not come in. <laughs> Watch this. She's not going to want to come in. And she's going to get upset. Oh. Oh, come here. She loves laying outside. Let's go in the house. Okay, get up there. Look at our new runner. We showed you the old ratty one. We got a nice new one. Purdy. It works perfect. I'll start your truck up. Okay. Oh, close the door. Now it's all dark. Hi, Daisy. What? Okay. She's not going to be happy. But she knows she gets a C-O-O-K-I-E. And yes, she knows how to spell that word. So she know she will follow me around until we leave because she knows that I'm going to give her a C-O-O-K-I-E. When we go without her, she gets one of those. Huh, Daisy, what are you waiting for? Huh? <gasps> you heard the truck start, huh? Mommy and Daddy going somewhere? Huh, Daisy? It's so windy outside. We had to bring some of our outside stuff in. It's windy. Okay, let's go get a burger. Yes, I'm eating fries. And yes, I'm eating bread. Look at that bun. Are you done? Yes, ma'am. 
looks like you're done. It's the aftermath. Ate every single bite. Both of us did. I had what, maybe three fries, that's it. That's more than I normally have. Well, I only had four, so there wasn't many on that plate to begin with. <laughs> Very funny. Very funny. You ready to go? Yes, ma'am. Okay. We just got back from a walk. Ooh. It's kind of draining. Yes, it is. A little windy. What a daisy. She's like, okay. Straight wind, 25 miles an hour, gusting to 32 right now, and it's supposed to gust all the way to 60 tonight. Oh, yippee. Another sleepless night. Rocking and rolling. Yeah, it's kind of tiring, fighting the wind. I mean, all we did was walk around the park, take her to the little dog park area, and went to the office to look for a package. And I also asked them if it was okay for us to give our, like, fruit and vegetable scraps to the chickens since we had the chickens up in Minden, we um, used to always save our scraps for them. And so I wanted to make sure it was okay with them if we gave their chickens, because they have like two or three chickens in different little pens with the peacocks and stuff, and they even said the peacocks might even like that. So I said, yay, good, I don't have to throw away these vegetable scraps, kind of bothered me. <laughs> I get used to giving them giving them to somebody to eat. And We're used to recycling everything. Yeah, that bothers me too. That Not just cans and bottles and paper and cardboard, but our food stuff, you know. And we'll have to check and see if there's a place to recycle anything around here. Oh, we had a fun night, huh? Yuck. <laughs> no, we didn't. <coughs> the wind was so freaking bad. It was windy. It was, uh, every time I would check it, uh, the gusts were like 45 to 50 miles an hour, and the straight winds were 35 to 40 miles an hour. I think all totaled we got a couple hours sleep, and that was later on this morning. I it's tell you what. after 7.30 now, but, oh my gosh. The old Taylor was rocking last night, but it was because of the wind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought for sure we were going to come out and find our toppers ripped off and our awning ripped off. and But, I mean, even our little small folded chair and stuff is still underneath the RV and our welcome mats out there. But it sure sounded like it was going to blow everything away. And not just gentle breezes blowing the palm trees. It was Wind. Gale, gale force winds. Oh... I guess they don't have wind turbines out here for no reason, huh? That's true. That's so true. And it's it's still pretty dang breezy this morning. It's not windy like it was overnight, looking at the trees and the bushes. but uh, And we're still under a high wind warning until, I think, 4 this afternoon now. I'll have to check it. Crazy. Well, it's one thing to have those winds during the daytime when you're awake and can see what's going on, but when you're trying to sleep and there's all kinds of noise going on and you think that your house is being blown apart, that's not fun. <laughs> the gentle lulling of the, tr the, the trailer rocking was fine. Oh, it was well. all the noise and the... Coffee time, computer time, then nap time. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs>